So question number five, part B from June 2016, the GCE Legacy C2 paper, a question about binomial expansion. And um, we have part B now. We've done part A. Uh, we're going to do part B. Now in part A, we were asked to expand this, just that little part there. And now we're told that f of x is equal to 1 plus kx times that which we expanded up to the third term. And um, the expansion in ascending powers of x of f of x up to and including the term x squared is given by this expression. So that's up to x squared when you expand this. So it's what we've already got the expansion of multiplied by 1 plus kx. Okay. Um, k is a constant and it says a and b are constants. A and b are constants. We've got to write down the value of a. So let's first of all, let's go back to get what we we did before. Okay, this is the answer that we had from before. Okay. Oops, it's all in parts. Let me just copy it and paste it down here. Okay, paste it down here. Some space. Paste it over here. All right. Now. So that's what we got when we expanded um, 2 minus 9x to the power 9x, to 2 minus 9x, all to the power of 4. Okay. Now, they've told us that when we multiply this by 1 plus kx, we're going to get that. So if we multiply 1 plus kx multiplied by our expansion, which is 16, minus 2, 8 288x plus 1944x squared plus dot 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 we don't need the rest of it you're going to end up with a minus 232x plus bx squared as our first three terms in ascending powers of x up to x squared term okay that's what we're going to get of course there's going to be more than that but when we expand that we're going to get x cubed term as well and stuff but those are the first three terms up to the x squared term when we expand that. Okay, so that's not the complete thing. It's part of it. Okay, that's all we need from it. So first of all, it says write down the value of a. Now a, if you multiply this bracket out, okay, um, you'll end up with something that looks like this. And a is a term which doesn't have any x with it. It's just a constant term. It's when you multiply just the numbers without any x's by each other. So 1 times 16 is the only term which will have no x's associated with it. If you multiply 1 by all the other terms, or kx by all these terms, you'll end up with something with x or x squared or x cubed. So we know that a must be equal to 16. So a is equal to 16. That's not something that we really had to calculate. And that's why it says write down the value of, and it's only worth one mark. Okay, So that's pretty clear for part a, b. Then part c says, find the value of k. Now, how are we going to find the value of k? Right, to find the value of k, let's tidy this up, it looks a bit messy. Okay, 2 minus 9x. How are we going to find the value of k? What we can do is we can look at the um, coefficients of the terms. Like we basically compared the coefficients of the constants, basically compared the constants to find out what, what a was. Let's do the same thing for x. Let's look at the coefficient of x when you when you expand this. On this side, you've got negative 232. That's how many x's you have on the right side. How many x's will you have on the left side, left side when we expand this? Well, we're going to have 1 times negative 288. When you do 1 times minus 288x, you get minus 288x. So negative 288 is one of the x terms. That's one of the coefficients of x. If I multiply 1 by the other term here, or 1 by the other term which we haven't found, it's going to be x squared and x cubed and x to the power 4. There won't be x terms. All right, now, how about if I take kx and multiply it by 16? That's going to give me 16kx. That is an x term. So plus 16k. Now, if I multiply kx by this term, I'm going to get an x squared term. kx by that term, I'm going to get an x cubed term, and so on. So therefore, the only x terms that we're going to get when we expand this bracket are minus 288 plus 16k. Those will be the only x coefficients on the left side and on the right side you see there's minus 232 x so they must be equal to each other minus 232 must be equal to this because these are equal to each other 
when you expand this, you're going to get that. All right, so the x coefficients must give us the same answers. Okay, so let's get rid of this. We'll move it down a bit. So now we can say that if I solve this equation, I should find what k is. So I can say 16k is equal to minus 232 plus 288. Okay, so 16k is equal to, that's like 88 minus 32, which is 88 minus, okay, it's going to be 56. And k is going to be 56 divided by 16. Okay, 56 divided by 16 um, will give you Fifty-six divided by sixteen it gives you seven over two. Three point five seven over two. You can leave it as a fraction if you want. That's no problem. Okay, so that's the answer to part C. Okay, that's what K is equal to. And then it says, hence find the value of B. Now, if you think about B, B is a coefficient of x squared. So, if we consider the x squared coefficients on the left side, what will give us the x squared terms? 1 times 16, no. 1 times minus 288x, no. 1 times 1944x squared, yes. That's going to be one of the x squared terms. We should check to see if there's going to be more. Let's try the kx. kx times 16, no. kx times minus 288x will give me negative 288kx squared. That's the x squared term. So minus 288k is going to be one of the x squared terms. If I multiply kx by any of the other terms, I'm not going to get an x squared term. That will be x cubed and so on. And that's on the right, that's on the left side. We finished now getting all the x squared terms. On the right side, it's just b, b x squared. So if I work out what this is, I've found what b is. And now the reason why it says hence means using what you just did. Well, we just found what k is. We just found k is equal to 7 over 2. So we can use that value and replace that 288 by, or replace the k here by 7 over 2. So we have 1,944 minus 288 times 7 over 2. Okay, so we can just plug that into our calculator. And so we're going to multiply that by uh, 288. Okay, I'm going to have 1,944. Take away the answer, which gives us 936. So we can say that B is equal to 900 and... 36. So B equals 936. So there's the answer. And there's the answer for C and there for D. Okay. So there we have completed this question, question number five from June 2016, the legacy papers before C12 started. Thank you very much for watching. Watching.